Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've clicked on this video, it's probably because your child has a speech delay, um, as does mine. My little guy is three years old and his name is Finn. I did a prior video to this one on December 4th. Um, I'm gonna link that up above. So if you haven't seen it already, I suggest that you click on it. It is very informative. I couldn't find anything about what Finn was diagnosed with on the internet. Well, I did, but it took a lot of digging. So I wanna make sure that these videos are easy to find in case somebody's going through the same thing that I have been going through with my little guy. First off, I wanted to say, since my last video in December, it's now April, Finn has been doing amazing. Two, tell him, hi, hi. Yeah. And this man, what do you say to him? Hi. And the puppy? Hi. Hi, puppy. And the pig? Hi. And the dino? Hi. Good boy. What do you say to daddy? Tell him, hi. Look at that. Hi. Look at that thing. Say, look at daddy. Hi. Hi. So he just turned three years old last week. He has a bunch of new words, which is fantastic. No, can you say no ice? I, I. Good boy, no ice. I, I. And I wanted to update everybody and tell you what works for us. So I know every child picks up on things at their own pace. Um, some learn better with hands-on, some learn better with audio or visual. So I wanted to tell you guys what works for us and with what Finn has. It's, it's, been, it's been a tough road, but we are doing the best we can and he is thriving and I am so excited to tell you guys this. So I wrote a few notes down just because I didn't want to forget anything. This video is very important to me. Um, I want to make sure the parents out there can find the resources that they need if their child has a speech delay and you don't know why. So I'm just going to give you a quick background um, because it's all in my other video. So my little guy was two, lost all his speech. So he had plenty of words before he even turned one. What flavor is this? Banana? Mama. 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 And as soon as he hit one, he lost all of his words, all of his speech. He also started having drop attacks, which I'll include um, a short clip of what that looks like. Um, I had hundreds and hundreds of parents reach out to me after watching my video. A lot of parents asked me if they thought it could be the vaccine. So Finn is up to date on all his vaccines and I was told basically if you talk about vaccines, they're gonna take your video off YouTube. So I'm not gonna really get into it too in depthly, but I just wanted to say, I listened to all of you guys. Um, I've spoke to his cardiologist, his pediatrician, um, geneticist, he sees genetics at Sick Kids Hospital and Finn has been reported um, I guess they have a study of some sort of kids that have had issues from the vaccine. So they can't say with certainty that this is what happened, but within two weeks of getting his 12 month vaccine, all of these things happened. So I'm not saying don't go get the vaccine. It's going to cause your child to not speak and be delayed and have all these problems because we don't know if it's the vaccine. It might not be, but basically his doctors have reported that this occurred within two weeks of his 12 month vaccine. It doesn't matter what caused it. Right now, we are focused on helping him. On my last video, Finn was saying three words. Um, that was, oh no, mama and dada. <coughs> Today, Finn is saying, I actually wrote them down because I don't want, I don't want to miss anything. So Finn is saying hi, bye, mom, dad, no, yeah, please, but he says none of these words with perfect pronunciation. Just, I think sometimes when our kids are learning to speak, us as parents can understand them. Um, and it's our job to kind of be repetitive so that it helps them get that pronunciation proper. He can say blue. Can you tell me what color your pants are? Blue. 
They're blue. Green. What color are brother's pajamas? Me. Green. Identify colors, which is fantastic. He can also say GG. That's what he calls his grandma. Um, he says Nene, or he calls his babysitter Nene, and we don't know why, but it's pretty cute. He can say, oh no, ice, boat, and wow. Can you say rainbow? Bull. Yeah, rainbow. Can you say no boat? No boat. Good boy. Can you say no ice? Aye, aye. No ice. Aye, aye. Good boy, baby. And can you say hi? Hi. What do you say to your friends at the park when you see them? Hi. Good boy. And then what do you do? Wave to them? Yeah, good boy. What else can you say? Can you say Gigi? Is that your grandma, your Gigi? <laughs> so from going from saying three words in December and now it's April and we have 15 words, it's amazing. Finn's been working really, really hard and he understands everything. He just has trouble communicating. If I ask Finn, are you sad? He says, you know, he'll shake his head yes or say yeah. He knows he has trouble getting the words out and I can see, I visibly can notice it makes him sad. He does have a little bit of a temper sometimes, but not really. He he just, he really tries. Like everything that he can do to get these words out, he tries so, so hard. So he has been attending speech therapy classes. He's been seeing a great speech pathologist, like absolutely amazing speech pathologist. I'm sure that you can find some of these techniques on um, videos on YouTube that the speech pathologists try to help kids through their videos. So one that's really been helping Finn, and I'll show you with a piece of paper. So he has a lot of trouble with the pa, pa, like popcorn or popsicle or bubbles pop. He tends to say it with a D, like dad, duh. So what she does is she gets a piece of paper towel, not paper, but paper towel. This is what I have to work with. And she goes, Puh! so he loves to see the paper towel shoot up. So we do this with him daily and he just laughs and he loves it. And it's really, really improved that sound for him, that puh. So I did want to, that I did include on my last video, Finn was assessed for her autism and that came back that he is not autistic. He was also assessed at sick kids for um, genetic problems that could be causing this issue with him and it came back completely clear. So we are so excited about that. He was eventually, and this took from the age of one to two, almost two and a half to be diagnosed properly with apraxia of speech or CAS. So that's childhood apraxia of speech. And as a mom, when he could not speak after that one year mark and all of those words went away that he had, I searched the internet, I asked doctors, and it seems like everybody just jumped to the fact that the easiest diagnosis, and I'm, so, I'm not, this is my own opinion, please do not judge me on this, but it's what I went through with my son and my family. Um, everybody diagnosed him it almost seemed like immediately with autism without even doing any testing. It, it was just that is speech regression is a huge indicator of autism and we understood that but we wanted them to actually look at him and to follow through with proper testing and it seemed like we had to fight and fight and fight and fight for that and once it was finally done and we outsourced doctors and speech therapists and once we we did that and we had the proper care for Finn um, this diagnosis came after a long road but it has been amazing and we've connected with so many other parents um, all over the world they have support groups through Facebook and you can ask questions and you can get certain things to help so one of the parents put up this letter board that you can order actually off Amazon. And 
it has the whole alphabet and then under each letter it has so a for apple it'll have a picture of an apple or c for cat it has the picture of the cat and when they hit like we hung ours up on the wall and i will include a little um clip of what ours looks like but he hits the letter and then it repeats the letter to him a apple. and says the word that follows so although he can't say these words yet it's teaching him and it's fun and he enjoys to learn when we kind of quiz him without quizzing him if i ask him can you hit the g for grandma he can hit that g so as parents we know that he's understanding it's just his verbal communication isn't there yet but going back the parents in these support groups have helped us tremendously and we are so happy to be part of such a close-knit community um, I can ask questions I can reach out there's actually speech pathologists and doctors anyone that we feel we need to reach out to that support system is there so it has been fantastic another big thing that's been helping Finn it's an app that helps with sign language so when Finn can't get a word out we try to teach him the proper sign language for it so we're learning along with him learning and I'll include a clip as well of how good he's doing with his sign language more can you do it with your hands more yeah can you good boy that's how we say more as well show me ball ball can you show me how do you drive the car good job baby how do you say thank you Finn good job I love you so he's doing really, really good with his sign language and we are so proud of him. And I just wanted to come on here and make this video so that other parents out there that are in the same situation as my husband and I were with our son, to not lose hope. Because although it took us a lot, we had a long road to get to where we are today. So from Finn losing all speech after one year was tough him having the drop attacks and his body distorting at certain times, that was really tough. And we were really confused and scared. We didn't know what was going on. We still don't really understand what happened, but it seems as he's growing, um, things are getting better. And it takes a lot of time and effort on our part as parents to really teach and to be patient because it is a long road and it is tough, but they will get there eventually um, with the help of us because it's our job. And I said this in my last video, it is our job as their parents to be their advocates and to teach, guide, and be there for them. So I wanted to share this story. I will do updates as they happen and I am just so excited to be sitting here and telling you how great my little guy is doing. And if you have any questions about this diagnosis that hopefully I can answer for you or lead you in the right direction to who can answer those questions for you, I would love to hear from you. I will include my email in the description below. I will also include the link to that alphabet hanging system <laughs> that we have in our basement if you think that that's something that could help your little one. And all I can say is thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time.